Stephen Raphael had a heart attack and severe diabetes, and OMAD has changed his life. Stephen, thank you very much for uh, being a part of this interview. Uh, why don't you give everybody just a little introduction to you? Okay. Um, well, my name is Stephen C. Raphael, and I'm a uh, composer, pianist, and music teacher. And um, mm -hmm. I come from a music family. My brother uh, writes music for movies and television. And, um, you know, my other brother does music. But that's all I've ever done. And even though I can play really good and it's really impressive and I've played all around the world, that's the only thing I can do and eat. I, I have to throw this in. I've been in a movie playing piano with Jeff Bridges. I'm from, Cal I'm from California. Yeah. And that's my 15 minutes of fame. So, so but I live out here in Nebraska now uh, due to some earthquake or something. I got really bad diabetes for the last eight years. Mm -hmm. I'd have pricked myself and my numbers. If you know anything about diabetes, 300, you should go to the hospital. My numbers were like 500. Whoa. Yeah. And so, uh, and now I've got this new thing. There's my blood sugar numbers are 113. So I don't have to prick myself anymore. Oh. And uh, yeah. And so that's really helped me because insurance only covers four times a day to prick yourself. I could do this a thousand times a day and that's really helped me. But the biggest thing that's helped me with my diabetes and overeating is this is OMAD one meal a day. And um, it's because technically you can't really get the prediabetes or diabetes when you don't have so much food going in you all day long. In three right. days, it's gone no matter how, you know, so wake up, I take a lot of medicine that, I need because I ruined my body by eating like a pig my whole life. I got four stents in my artery. I had a heart attack. They had to do this. And I was basically dead for like six months. I've been in bed for like years. And uh, finally, it just uh, through a series of a few different things, uh, I, I found this. And uh, so how, how did you? Find, find out about intermittent fasting like so you was it the heart attack that that was the wake-up call or, or what happened no, you know you know what kayla no i <sighs> ate even worse after the heart attack i ate worse oh. i ate 18 corn dogs the night before 18 and uh i had chest pains i still didn't go to the doctor and then the next day i went in and into the emergency they they took that heart thing and in 15 minutes I was in surgery oh. and said you're having a heart attack but um no my wake-up call was my both my brothers although they're very wealthy and very semi-famous and stuff um they still have problems with overeating and my dad did my mom did my grandfather looked like a bowling pin he did a huge stomach and uh the wake-up call was one day, uh, about four months ago, I guess, my brother said, you know, you want to watch this guy. He keeps talking about eating one meal a day. But uh, he, he just yelled and yelled and yelled and said, you know, you need to fast for like five days. Fat, you know, if you're fat, you know, just, you know, don't eat. At all. And so I was like, you know, I, I tried to do that, but I couldn't go three or four days not eating at all. So then... Um, I started to, uh, my second step within a series of about three or four days, as I saw these before and after pictures of people. And mm -hmm. the before pictures, they just look like these soccer moms with their hair up and they're like 250 pounds, 350, and they're beautiful makeup and toenails and fingers and beautiful dresses. But they didn't care about their weight, apparently, or they did, and they just didn't think they can do anything about it. And I... And then this one girl posted before and after pictures of herself and of she was like 350 or 375. And then over the course of a year of eating one meal a day, and then after about six months, she started um, exercising. Mm -hmm. She was a knockout. And then I started um, doing before and after pictures of very, very heavy people. And their, their whole faces would change. They're, they're all, you know, just like Jim. I mean, my gosh. I mean, 
Uh, he looks, uh, it's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the next step was uh, I found a site where the guy was uh, very, very serious about um, one meal a day and giving very serious instructions. And he didn't smile much. And it was very, and he just said, this is the way the hunter gatherers, you know, you ate, you know, one meal a day. You didn't have a refrigerator. You didn't, you didn't graze, you know, in this and snack. And I thought, well, you know, my brother who I kind of look up to, you know, he's the, he lives in LA, he's living with the pool and the mansion and the celebrities. And here I am in Nebraska. And it's like, so like, if he, you know, he says, you know, he could do it. So I started doing it and, uh, I, um, I just, um, I found out that I wasn't that hungry up until five o'clock was my time, mm -hmm. you know, and what time is it now over here in Nebraska? It's four forty-six, and I'm not even a little bit hungry. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's your, your body will remember, you know, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of good examples is there was a, like a month ago, I had a little bit of popcorn after dinner just because I was like a peacock and thinking, Hey, I've got this food thing down. And the next <laughs> night I wanted that popcorn again. Yeah. I wanted yeah. it again. It's happened twice. Once with red licorice. Cause I went, Oh, I could handle this. And the next like, I'm like, Oh my, you know, it's like, it remembers, you know, and, uh, Oh my gosh. So, um, yeah. And then that happened. And, uh, I started watching that guy's videos all the times. And, uh, and then, and then every morning I wake up and I, I, I write down today is 101 days in a row. Yesterday was the hundredth day. So <laughs> today's my 101th day of, uh, I usually I just take I have a one plate rule. Mm -hmm. I know you're a little bit lenient with with uh, um, some of your videos you're talking about. You're like, well, so I think you even said sometimes you might even eat two meals or snacking. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, it, I'm not uh, at your I, level yet. <laughs> well, you know, maintaining that's a whole other thing. Like I feel like I can eat, you know, I, and I've done it before, just like two meals or, you know, uh, supper and then snacks afterwards. Cause I like, yeah. you know, popcorn and stuff and, uh, yeah. it's a lot more loosey goosey with it. Once you get down to that weight that you're wanting to be at, but, but, you, but you've been doing this for a while, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Since, yeah, uh, 20, 2016 is really when I, that's when I went to OMAD, but 2015, I was doing it, uh, you know, more sporadically and just not as being, you know, consistent and stuff. So, yeah. So I'm still on the like three and a half months. I'm really like, okay, well, you know, I, I, I better just better stick right. to the program. Yeah. I just take like a one plate rule and, uh, you know, I have, I have a little bit of chicken, a little bit of rice and beans. And I usually put a lot of salad on it. Sometimes I don't even do the rice and beans, just a little salad. And I got some dressing that's just, um, you know, uh, I, I don't really count the calories that much, but on a plate like this, you can't get really much more than a thousand calories on it. And, uh, you know, like I said, I was laying in bed for about two years after my heart attack. And I'm not joking about that. And now that I only eat once a day, I have so much time. I wake right. up, I wake up, I call every, cause I only work a couple of days a week teaching. And so I call people and say, Hey, you want to rock around the mall? And then I drive downtown. I walk around. I, I, I even went back because I was I used to do a lot of performing and like uh, uh, like retirement homes and stuff because I play for Disney and Warner Brothers and stuff. So I know all those old fashioned songs and stuff. And so and now I'm, I'm back to, to doing that a lot. That's and and I mean, I was always in bed watching Seinfeld and, and eating. And that's all I did. And, uh, you know, I always say I don't think anybody ate that much more than me and I mean I just ate so much recently within these last three and a half months I've been to two pizza buffets and Chinese buffets and it wasn't my it, it was a birthday thing for somebody else it wasn't my mm -hmm. feeding time which was five mm -hmm. so I sat there and had some Chinese tea oh and, and I didn't eat anything that's yeah, awesome I, yeah if it's 4 45 I'll, I'll sit there and I'll wait I mean, that's just me. It, that's a little bit strict, but I'll loosen up probably. Yeah. Well, and that, that I think that's a great opportunity. How do you handle that with people? Like what I find is 
people, it's not so much my like, oh, I got to eat. It's that they're like, oh, please eat. Just, I feel bad eating in front of you. So how do you handle that? Okay, well, I actually, I'm glad you asked that, Kayla, because I made a, oh, mad, what to do in social situations <laughs> video. It goes like this. It's basically, um, actually, what to, uh, actually, um, on the Chinese restaurant thing, thing, um, I actually, there was an older lady, so I held her plate and she went and uh, I assisted her with the, um, the buffet and, and then I just said I'm just gonna get the tea and she said well I noticed you've been losing some weight and I go yeah I'm just kind of cutting back on the calories and I'm I'm focusing at night because mm -hmm. you don't want to tell anybody that you're on OMAD because nobody's gonna understand everybody's okay. gonna say where are you getting your protein everybody's gonna be negative and uh, my daughters were laughing at me like crazy mm -hmm. until today after she goes my boss watched one of your videos and she's going to start to do it, you know? And she, they go, yeah, one of the cooks offered her breakfast. And she said, no, that's not my time. And uh -huh. so, but yeah, in the social, social situations, um, I've just, I was so sick and I was, you know, that it, my health is just more important than, mm. than the people's feelings. And, uh, People know now, and but they've mm -hmm. seen that I've went from size 38 to size 30, 30. Right. I've got all new clothes, new shoes, new shirts. Awesome. I haven't bought anything. My wife used to buy my clothes at like Walmart 15 years ago, and I don't think I've had new clothes since then. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So do you have a, it sounds like, you, you know, you're very strict on your, your day, you know, you, you eat at five. Do you have any other, like, do you exercise every day or do you uh, have any other kind of routine that you're in? Well, now that I'm not in bed all the time, I don't exercise. I'm just, I just go to the mall and I walk all around it. I don't like to do it by myself, but I do it with I have a few friends or retired people. We just walk around and stuff. Um, it is probably going to get snowing and cold here. So there's a, a gym down the street and I, uh, and there's a treadmill and I was walking on it uh, early in the morning because I wake up pretty early now. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm waking up early. And one thing I bet that you could agree with, maybe not, is, you know, sometimes, you know, you do get hungry, like after your, your, your one meal sometimes. You did, and if, if, if you're not going to eat, you know, anything afterwards, obviously, it's hard to fall asleep sometimes. Mm -hmm. Does that ever happen to you? Well, what I've noticed is that means I haven't eaten enough at the meal. And so yeah. if I just eat enough at the meal, then I'll sleep like a baby. But if I'm ever not sleeping well, then I'm like, okay, I need to eat more at the meal. Yeah. yeah. But but I do I do find I don't need I don't need as much sleep as I did in the past. Like I used to sleep just, you know, 8 10 hours, uh, I mean, yeah. or more. And now it's like, I'll sleep six and I'm up and I am like ready to go. So it's crazy. Yeah. My thing is I, I last night, for instance, I went to sleep about nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. So at three 30 in the morning, I was walking around uh, Walmart for like two hours and I'm like, going, boy, am I going nuts here? I, I can't sleep, you know, cause I just, I conked out, you know, and then I just woke up at like, you know, three or four and, that yeah. happens a lot. And so, uh -huh. um, yeah, I don't need it because, um, you know, when you have a big meal, mostly people just want to relax and take the siesta and lay down. And But uh, I just don't have that anymore. And my blood sugar, I mean, this, this my meter now, my numbers, uh, for anybody who's watching this that has, uh, you know, prediabetes, diabetes, whatever, my numbers look 90, 130, uh, 111, 129, uh, 96, 95, 100. They're all 100%. My A1C level is perfect. Do you know, four months ago, my A1C level, I don't know if you know what that means, but 14 is death, and it was higher than that. They couldn't even measure oh. it, and now it's perfect. That's awesome. Wow. Yes, and so, so that, that's like three, you said you're on day 101. Yeah. So you went from, you went, from, so, so before OMAD, 
you were just eating whatever. Is that right? I mean, you, you were not on any other diet. No, not at all. And okay. I didn't, and I didn't care because I was so fat and sick and I didn't work a lot and I didn't have a lot of friends. I had nothing to do. I really, 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 really didn't care. I have three kids and I didn't even want, and they're in their twenties. I didn't even want them to call me because I didn't want to have to get out of bed. I was wow. just so miserable. Mm -hmm. And, um, but, um, on my, on my blood meter here, see, when I go back, I just, I just I, look, look at the, look at this number here, 548. Can you see that? Wow. Oh my 548. God. I was, I was, see, I could talk fast now, but I was stuttering and wow. I couldn't even see across the room. Now I don't even need glasses. Wow. It was all because. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. And I have all these extra shots. I don't even take insulin. I don't take metformin, nothing. Wow. So has your doctor been supportive of intermittent fasting or, or do you have you talked to your doctor about it? I mean, I'm, I'm always curious to know because some people have had, you know, bad experiences with their doctor and some I find that they're very supportive. So I'm just curious. That's a great question. Since I'm so into this, I really am not willing to take that chance. And since it's only been three and a half months, I went there about a week and a half ago and she went, my God, you've dropped a lot of weight and your BMI is incredible. You, you've been sick for the last eight years. And I go, yeah, she goes, what are you doing? And I go, oh, I'm just kind of cutting back. That's all I was going to say, because if I would have said it and she would have said it's not good, uh -huh. That would have given me the permission to go back and be a piggy again. And I, so no, they might not understand it, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and so I just, you know, she kept me sick for, so I, yeah, no, I, I don't, you know, I don't tell anybody unless they keep asking about it. Right. Right. So do you, do you feel like, uh, there was something it, was it just your brother that like when he's when he was telling you this is is that really the thing that just really got you to to make a change it was the one it, it, the stages where it was the, it, he told me to go one meal a day i watched that guy screaming and saying fast constantly then i watched the girl before and after picture where she went from this you know 400 pound girl to a knockout and then all these before and after pictures and then the one guy that just kept talking about just said, here's the basics of OMAD, and uh, this is what you do, and I tried it, and in in the first, like, seriously, in the first, like, four days, I lost, like, 10 pounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, and I know that sounds weird for people, but if you knew how much food I ate a day, and I spent a lot of time on the toilet, by the way, <laughs> I'm just being honest. I was, I was, no, con I yeah. mean, I'm constantly, I mean, I actually wrote like, you know, 200 things. Cause I do a lot of comedy songs. Up. I wrote 200 lines when I was fat, you know, just to all these different, when I was fat, you know, I wanted to ride one of those carts at Walmart when I was mm -hmm. fat. I wanted to wear diapers cause I went to the bathroom so fat when I was mm -hmm. fat. I, I mean, just so many different things. And, uh, I even, because it was a food addiction, I even went to Weight Watchers. Mm -hmm. Everybody there was fat, including the lady that was giving mm -hmm. the talk. Uh, yeah. And I went to Overeaters Anonymous, but they only have it one day a week. I have the overeater problem every day of the week. Right, right, yeah. And so the only thing that kind of helped me was, I, this is kind of funny, but I actually started to go to AA meetings Oh. Although I have, I'm not an alcoholic, I don't do any drugs, but they have these meetings like every hour oh. all across town. So I just go in there and they go, yeah, my name is Steve. I, and I'd say, yeah, my name is Steve and I'm an addict because I was a food addict. Right, right. I didn't say I was a drug addict. And I get a lot of support and people go, yeah, you got to go through the 12 steps. I did that for, but that didn't help either. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I showed you, but um, as a pianist, 
I have a picture um, and a video of, of, of I have a keyboard on my treadmill. Ah. So I'd be on my treadmill practicing. That didn't help. Mm -hmm. So this is the only thing that is. Uh, this is this is a. But getting back to your question, it was those four things, and then finally just, you know, having that luck of wow, I'm not hungry during the day. I don't need right. breakfast. I don't need lunch. I'm having just a reasonable size, good dinner. Mm -hmm. And he said, no grazing, no snacking, and I didn't. Right. <laughs> And it and it's and it's worked, and now it's been like 101 days, and now I, now I even started my um, YouTube channel because uh, the networking, which you know, is mm. is so nice, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. to, to to get that, you know, instead of sitting in Starbucks listening to music and not really talking to anybody, you got these network of people you could talk to and. You know, I, we, I was watching one of your uh, interviews and then I was talking to one lady that we know each other and, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like, uh, yeah, it's it's really good. And it's this has just been a. Uh, it's just it's a miracle that somebody like me. You know, I just can't, you know, I've I've should told you how much I ate and. Uh, all day long, you know, your organs have to take a break once in a while. Right. Mm -hmm. So do you still face any challenges? Like I, I know you say you don't really get hungry, but is, is there anything that's still like you just feel like uh, you got to still work on that? The, yes, um, I, I, I remember. Um, one of the things is like, for instance. Um, I went to my. Um, I went to my my wife's family dinner. And they're all very, you know, missionary people and university teachers and very proper. And you can see I'm a little bit more reckless and funny. And, you know, I'm, 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 I'm okay. And, you know, their salad for six people is like a side salad. I didn't even know if it was a garnish. But <laughs> like everybody just takes the, like five leaves. And, you know, so I, you know, it was five o'clock was my time. I agreed to go there. So I took a little of that. <clears throat> I took one little skinny chicken breast that went and grilled. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of salad, I um, mean, you know, like with a broccoli and thing. It must have been three or four hundred calories. I couldn't keep getting more stuff. I didn't want to fill my plate like I really needed to. Right. Um, and right. then, you know, I'm driving home and I'm getting a little irritable because I'm, mm. I'm like, <clears throat> you know, I just. <clears throat> I just so that's a challenge, but I think if I'm going to do that again, I'm just going to say, okay, you guys, this is the only thing I've eaten all day, so uh, I'm I'm going to have my seconds and first now. I mean that that's one thing that it's that and uh, and sometimes and the other challenge I could be honest is, you know, I sound like I'm kind of high and mighty and I've got this food thing licked, but you know the truth of it is is, you know, the other night at the restaurant. They brought out some bread and, and uh, that wasn't see i'm supposed to have all my food at one plate and my beverage and mm. i eat that and that's it but they mm. brought out some bread and conversations a little boring i'm getting a little restless and i'm usually the center of attention i'm usually playing the piano at a party or a club or and i'm having it i'm requesting and doing this and and some sitting there and it's a little boring and so i could have a little piece of that bread but this bread had like garlicky, buttery, cheesy. And I'm like, that just made me so hungry. So uh -huh. I had another piece and it's like, mm -hmm. you know, there's some stuff you do, at least, you know, some stuff I just really shouldn't eat. And I never do eat that kind of stuff, but it was a little bit boring. Mm -hmm. and the food didn't come at once and they start bringing you these little appetites. So. That's a little that that's a little bit of a challenge that I can work on. I'm I'm not gonna have the chips and salsa, you know, at a mm -hmm. Mexican restaurant before or the bread because, you know, uh, I really enjoy my weight now. I, I I still I still have this thing when I look in the mirror. I go, well, am I am I a little fat still here? Is my cheek there? Am I? I mean, my daughter said, Dad, you look like you need to go to the hospital. You're so thin. 
She said, you've never looked this thin. They're like mm -hmm. 23. And, mm -hmm. uh, but it's because I was wearing fat people clothes. Mm -hmm. I had uh, really heavy baggy clothes. And uh, mm -hmm. then they said, I'm going to take you shopping. So now I really like, I really, I got all these nice shirts at Old Navy and stuff like that and tight jeans and new sh shoes and I had the same shoes for like 10 years. So right. yeah. but I'm just, it's like a whole new me. And the mm -hmm. best part of this, the best part, and I think you'd probably attest to this if you've had that bad of food problem, is my, my sense of control. I yeah. control. It's like I drive my car. My car doesn't go anywhere. I tell it where to go. And yes. food doesn't control me. Mm -hmm. And my favorite food probably, I, I haven't eaten it in 101 days, is pizza. Mm. But if it's 4 o'clock and somebody says, here's the best pizza in town, I wouldn't even consider taking a bite of it. Right. If it was 5 o'clock and I was going to include that in part of my meal, maybe. But mm. um, I, I don't eat before that. My, um, my body's clock knows at about 4.30, hey, you're starting to get a little hungry and uh mm -hmm. but the sense of control is is just so great and uh i was so out of control and so sick mm -hmm. and i feel like i'm gonna live now okay so is there one piece of advice that you would want to give somebody out there maybe maybe they were like you what is something you would tell them they're on their weight loss journey maybe just starting out what would you say um and they were doing omad well, just, yeah, that, that, that would work. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, uh, well, I, I would tell you this cause I've ran into this and I've ran into other people to talk about this. Um, and this has also been a little bit of a challenge for me. Um, if you're going to do OMAD, um, uh, I think it's good to be kind of in a community and talk to people about and stuff. But mm. if you get to a plateau, don't start looking for optional ways like, oh, you need to have a little bit more fat or a little bit more of this, or you need to start to, because then you're going to start swaying from your initial persistence. You mm -hmm. got to, you got to stick to the plan. And because there's so many, I mean, there's these keno people, which you know about them, they're insane. You know, I say, yeah, I lost 40 pounds. Oh, that's great. But if you're doing keno, you would have lost way more than that. I'm like, I'll take it. But yeah, you, it, it's easy to start looking for new ways and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this does work, and there's thousands of people to attest to that. So uh, if, just be patient. Yes. And, oh, uh, so good. <laughs> yeah, and stick to your plan. You eat your once a day, and if you if you uh, and, and and another thing, if you do mess up and you have your popcorn or you eat your dinner, and then you know something happens and you overeat, the next day, absolutely don't think about it. Don't right. even care, and just get back on your your thing because that's not a pattern 101 days for me is a pattern right a couple little popcorns or liquors but those weren't patterns so mm -hmm. um that that's what i've learned and uh you know i sure hope one day i could be talking to you and i could be talking to you with the same conviction that i have now because you know sometimes you know things things happen in the six months mm -hmm. oh that didn't work you know but yeah i mean mm -hmm. this this is really been a life changing experience for me i mean i have friends i didn't want my daughters to call right. i didn't want to see them i, I was like uh, uh, i can't walk from the from the uh, car to the mall i can't mm. do it oh, you know yeah. i was so bad well you saw yeah. the pictures of me mm -hmm. you know yeah. and, and i felt so bad and having numbers this bad yeah. You know, that that's like a monkey on your back or a sandbag. Right. You know, so stick to it and don't start looking for all these other plans because there are some OMAD people that believe this. And then some some talk about cheat days. Well, let me tell you, I know you might have them, but oh, Steven, yeah. <laughs> C, Steven C. Raphael, you know, the um, OMAD man, I can't really handle them. The only cheat days I would say is if, I did have my dinner and then maybe a little bit, you know, we're sitting around with some real boring people and I went, give me a couple of those chips. 
That would be my cheat day. But I wouldn't say let's go out for ice cream or or let's go right. order a pizza. You know, no, I can't handle that. Mm-hmm. I just know I'd slip, and then it would become a pattern. And right, yeah. And I think everybody's got to figure that out. You know, you yeah. know yourself better than anybody else does. So yeah, I think so. So. Um, what, or is there anything that I did not ask you that you really wish that I would have? Um, no, except for I, 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 only thing I can say is I, I hope people subscribe to my YouTube channel okay. because uh, <laughs> even though, even though, uh, it's so weird. I don't know. I'm so brainwashed by YouTube because it's been around so long, but even though on this on the Facebook OMAD group and stuff, I play the piano and I sing, you know, I'll be, I'll be like Bohemian Rhapsody, Mama, I just lost 100 pounds. Da, da, da. I mean, I did, I do all these, you know, I know thousands of songs, so I, I play and sing them. Uh, but those people don't really go to the YouTube, and the YouTubes are like what I'm doing now. I'm serious about, you know, right. plan. I'm not just joking around about it. But, you know, if I could help someone, I wish somebody would have helped me and I would have had, I mean, because now I'm 54. Right. You know, and, and God, I wish, I wish, I, I wish I would have, you know, got this memo years ago. Right. I've missed out on a lot of life. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it, but I could just tell you, if I could do this, anybody can do this. So, that's awesome. That's so, Stephen, if anybody would like to connect with you, what is the best way that they can do that? I guess uh, if you just type in O-M-A-D and then put Steven, uh, my videos will come up and then, you know, you subscribe to it and then you'll get new videos. All right. Well, thank you so much, Steven. I really appreciate you coming on here and sharing your story. Uh, you've got a great one and I hope people go check out your channel. Okay. Well, thank you for having me. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.